BJJ fundamentals. Okay, so we're gonna stand the gu stand. We're going to defend the standing guillotine. Okay, so we understood in one of my other videos, like I said, we real quick, we want to be on the opposite side of the body with our legs, right? Then, then the choke. So he wants to be on the other side. He doesn't want to be on the same side. He wants to be on the opposite side of his head, right? His feet on the opposite side of my body. So when we're standing, we're doing this, we're doing this right here, okay? First, he just made a standing guillotine here. There's several things we can think about. There's striking, there's grappling, there's him choking. But when he does his choke, you notice he wants to come forward with the hips, he wants to lift me up, he wants to get me choking like this, right? So one of the things I wanna do is I wanna push on his hips, okay? So when I push on his hips, I'm able to start to, to stop him from thrusting forward, that's one thing I could do. The other thing I could do is I could reach for the hand that's around the neck. I have several different ways in which I can defend the neck this way, okay? But what I'd like to do is I'd like to reach up and grab around his back. So I can't do it with this one, so this would be the one that grabs a hand. So watch, I'm gonna reach around his back like this standing. I can even make a gi grip or I can just be flat. And I'm defending here. I wanna scoot away from him and then move to the opposite side. So I'm gonna take my hand, scoot, turn a little bright. I'm gonna take my hand, I'm gonna either go to the back of it like this to come to the other side, but I don't want him to jump in the guard or anything like that. So I come around the side, I'm able to put him down, correct my chin, bite my chin into his ribs, and now I have the Von Flu choke. I connect my hands and drop my shoulder. Okay, so we're here, he grabs the guillotine. Other side. Grabs the guillotine, I wanna block his hips away for a second, reach over his back, defend the choke if I need to, and then I'm gonna come over here around the back of the leg. Trips him up, puts him on his back, sprawl, get the choke. Now, I'm gonna do a similar thing in the guard. When we're here, okay, Side. He's got my head. Okay, now he's back here. We're talking without the high elbow. If he had a high elbow, I'd have to destroy that first. But I need to get over his back. On my knees, I'm gonna die. I gotta get on my feet. But I also gotta be reaching down his back. So if I need to, I'll pull him up and reach down his back. Then I pressure. Sometimes I'll get a choke with the shoulder. But let's talk about my legs. I don't wanna choke Brian right now while I'm talking. So I'll move my arm. So I need to have my knees squeeze a little bit of the hips and cause enough forward stance that I control them here. I can't have space and allow Brian to throw a hook and flip me over. That's not good, right? So he gets me in a guillotine. I may need to pull him up and reach down his back. Sometimes I catch it, let go, because he sits up to do the guillotine. Sometimes I can catch the over the back. Go ahead, guillotine, buddy. I can catch the over the back here. That's easy, I can go forward. But sometimes he caught it and I'm late. I'm gonna have to pull him up and reach over his back. Sometimes he's got the high elbow. I'm gonna have to pull that down, then pull him up, then grab the back and pressure in. I can fight the hands here with this hand, okay? I squeeze my legs so he can't do any kind of hook flip. And I'm here like, yeah, I defend the choke. Sometimes he gets, I get the tap from pressuring in. Sometimes not and I just break my head free. Control the wrist. If, if he ever adjusts his legs and his guard opens up, I can always ski battle to this side as much as I can and connect, All right? And sprawl on him, do my top. Okay, so we're standing, same drill. So we do this back and forth. He grabs my head, ah, defend. Start defending the jump, go to reach over. I can defend this way, but he can arch his hips in. Look, ah, not good, right? So I gotta do something about it. I'm here, and then I go over his back, and then I go around his leg. Now with his guard, he sat up for a guillotine. And I pull him up, and I reach, and I have pressure, and I fought the hands. And I got free. Or I could jump to side control. A little bit of guillotine basics that we did today with the white belt that's holding the camera. 